As for my Pittsburgh Steelers, I won't be too long-winded, I promise. I promise. Just give me two minutes, three minutes or so. Um, I said earlier about Mac Jones, I don't know what more the Patriots, and in particular Mac Jones defenders, need to see to move on from Mac. And the same question and the same statement certainly applies to this situation. Um, how do I put this as mildly as possible? What more does Mike Tomlin need to see to move on from Matt Canada? What is it? Pittsburgh's offense against a Houston, Texas defense that's been up and down, kind of struggled a little bit, was abysmal. Coming off a solid offensive performance last week against Vegas. Kenny Pickett, who God bless him, got hurt in the game, was, was inefficient, was inaccurate, barely threw for 100 yards, threw a bad interception, QBR of 18, pass rating in the 50s, just a bad performance, and now you got poor Mitchell Trubisky coming in there, and I like Mitch as a backup, but uh, Mitch is not starting quarterback in the NFL consistently, low in starter, high in backup, as I call them. You have a situation where you get in the red zone multiple times in this football game, particularly in the second half uh, against Houston. You struggle to move in the first half, get something going in the second half. Here's my question. Um, I get George Pickens had the drops. I do. How does George Pickens have three catches for 25 yards? Why are you getting the ball to him out in space, taking shots down the field? Kenny Pick again, I think Kenny is... I like him. I said last offseason, li even during the draft process, when I wasn't even a Steelers fan, I'm like, I like him. He's mobile. Accuracy is a little bit of a concern, but that can improve. The, you can get better at that. We saw Josh Allen do that. We saw Lamar Jackson do that. Uh, much bigger talents than, than, than Kenny is, but he, that's something you can prove on. Um, but he, I'm like, okay, he's going into a stable organization, Pittsburgh. They've got a good success with uh, success rate with quarterbacks historically. I know a lot of fellow Steel my fellow Steelers fans are crushing Kenny today. And again, it looks like a report came in from Diane Rossini just a few minutes ago that there's no structural damage to his knee, which is great news. Uh, so he should be back, you know, maybe in a few weeks. We'll see. Um, I refuse to make a final judgment on Kenny Pickett until he gets an actual NFL OC. I, I, I'm not going to do it until I see him with a guy who actually knows how to call, play, call plays in the National Football League. Matt Canada was at LSU as a coordinator. He was bad in college. You're telling me he's going to get promoted to the end of We historically, how many college coaches, great college coaches, Nick Saban, Steve Spurrier, and Lane, I don't think Lane Kiffin's in that group, but Lane Kiffin's a really good college coach. We've seen plenty of guys coming to the NFL. Most guys don't end up like Jimmy Johnson or John Harbaugh. Most great college coaches come into the NFL, and it's, it's a culture shock. It's a totally different game, totally different players. Management's different. It's, it's just different. It might as well be a different sport. It's hard to adjust to. I've never, never, that's why the Cliff Kingsbury hiring by the Cardinals years ago made no sense to me, and we saw that panned out. I've never seen a coach get hired out of college, an unsuccessful coach, and be great in the NFL. Anybody in the comments who knows of any examples, feel free to, to, to chime in, let me know who they are. Matt Canada wasn't a good college offensive coordinator. What, what the heck makes me think he's going to be good in Pittsburgh? With a limited offensive line and a quarterback who does absolutely have limitations, though I like him. Though I like some of his upside from a mobility standpoint. I don't think Kenny Pickett is special. I don't think the Steelers are exactly going to win a Super Bowl with Kenny Pickett. And if that's the if that's the standard of Pittsburgh, which it is, they have six you know Lombardi trophies to show for it, then he may want to consider moving on. But not until... Not until we see him with a true, legitimate guy who knows how to call, call plays with the weapons they have in Pittsburgh because you can't tell me that offense is devoid of talent. You can't tell me George Pickens and Najee Harris and Jalen Warren and Calvin Austin are just bums. It's um, I mean, and Mike Tomlin has, and I love, that's my guy. It's part of the reason I became a Steelers fan. Love Mike Tomlin. But Mike Tomlin's out here talking after the game. Hell yeah, change is going to be made. Well, then make him. The change is right there. It, it is. It is so. Listen, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a new Steelers fan. Okay, I'm a new Steelers fan. Became a fan in, in, in July. It's my lifelong team. Uh, from this point on, it is maddening to see. Listen, CJ Shroud's more talented than than Kitty Pickett. That goes without saying. We 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 know that. But seeing a young, innovative offensive coordinator. Houston has good weapons, and I've said Houston's weapons are, are better than people give them credit for. We're seeing that the last couple of games. 
Houston does not have better weapons than Pittsburgh. You cannot convince me of that. I probably went over three minutes there. I, I'm not. I wasn't even checking. I have a clock here. Show me how long my stream. I, I I don't know if I went over three minutes. It is, wow. I I don't know what to say. I I honest to God, I don't know what to say. Thanks so much for watching the show on YouTube, and be sure to go click that big red subscribe button and check out the other clips and full shows from Carving It Up Live as well as our other incredible content creators here on the Grid Network.